Viva Valley Shea We'll sing the song in the Vaishnava songbook. Viva Valley Shea Viva Valley Shea Aloka Provisha Nisa Kariyoka Jiva
Mahom Vishnu Padaya, Krishna Staya Bhutali, Srimati Bhakti Vidanta Swami Vidana, Namaste Sarasati Devi Kavarani Pachari, Nirvashay Shashanyavani Paschachade Sukhi, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Can we get some more light on this place? You know, is it possible to put lights on? Here already, already on. So one light, one bulb. There's so many bulbs. There's not. They're not on. Gadaya, Gadaya, Nibbid, Adrin, Shastra, Durgina, Gadaya Nibbid Adrin Gadaya Nibbid Adrin Shastra Lark Ani Sayakai Shastra Gadaya 
Shastra Durgani Saya Saya Kai Chakrin Adni Nai Jalam Vayam Chakrin Adni Jalam Vayam Mura Pasham Stata Sina Mura Pasham Stata Sina Gadaya Nibhidhadrin Gadaya Nibhidhadrin Shastra Durgani Sayakai Shastra Durgani Sayakai Chakrin Adnim Jalam Vayam Chakrin Adnim Jalam Vayam Mura Pasham Stata Sina Mura Pasham Stata Sina Translation. With his club, the Lord broke through the rock fortifications. With his arrows, the weapon fortifications. With his disc, the fire, wind, water and wind fortifications. And with his sword, the Mura Pasha cable. 用神的驅除了火、水和風的工事,用他的劍斬開摩羯的工事,用他的劍斬開摩羯的工事。Text number 5. With the sound of his conch shell, Lord Gadadhar then shattered the magic seals of the fortress, along with the hearts of its brave defenders, and with his heavy club, he demolished the surrounding earthen ramparts. Text number six. The five heavy demon Mura, who slept at the bottom of the city's moat, awoke and rose up out of the water when he heard the vibration of Lord Krishna's Panchajanya conch shell, a sound as terrifying as the thunder at the end 
of the cosmic age. Text number seven. Shining with the blinding, terrible effulgence of the sun's fire at the end of a millennium, Mura seemed to be swallowing up the three worlds with his five mouths. He lifted up his trident and fell upon Garuda, the son of Tarksha, like an attacking snake. Text number eight. Mura whirled his trident and then hurled, hurled it fiercely at Garuda, roaring from all five mouths. The sound filled the earth and sky, all directions and the limits of outer space until it reverberated against the very shell of the universe. Text number nine. Then with two arrows, Lord Hari struck the trident flying towards Garuda and broke it into three pieces. Next the Lord hit Mura's faces with several arrows, and the demon angrily hurled his club at the Lord. Text number 10. As Moore's club sped towards him on the battlefield, Lord, Gad Lord Gadad Grudge intercepted it with his own and broke it into thousands of pieces. Mura then raised his arms high and rushed at the unconquerable Lord, who easily sliced off his heads with his disc weapon. Text number 11. Lifeless Mora's decapitated body fell into the water like a mountain whose peak had been severed by the power of Lord Indra's thunderbolt. The demon's seven sons enraged by their father's death, prepared to retaliate. Or, then text number 12. Ordered by Bomashura, Mura's seven sons, Tamra, Antariksha, Shravan, Vibhavasu, Vasu, Navaswan, and Arun, followed their general Pitta onto the battlefield, bearing their weapons. <laughs> Tamra, Antarisha, Savana, Vipavashi, Vashi, Navaswan, Aruna, Pitta. 
，佢係跟佢哋跟隨你嘅將領 Peter， 帶著佢哋嘅武器嚟到接場。These fierce warriors furiously attack invincible Lord Krishna with arrows, swords, clubs, spears, lances, and tridents. But the Supreme Lord, with unfailing prowess, cut this mountain of weapons into tiny pieces with his arrows. 寶劍、棒槌、槍、長矛同埋三叉戟，猛烈咁攻擊無敵嘅主 Krishna， 但是至尊主以無盡嘅力量，用他的箭將這些成山的武器化為碎片。Text number fourteen. The Lord severed the heads, thighs, arms, legs, and armor of these opponents led by Pitta. And sent them all to the abode of Yamaraj. Narakasur, the son of the earth, could not contain his fury when he saw the fate of his military leaders. Thus he went out of the citad of the citadel with elephants born from the milk ocean, who were exuding mudda from their foreheads out of excitement. 猎民主砍下只只由 Peter 带领嘅对手嘅头、大腿、肩膊、小腿、盔甲，将他们全部送到了 Yamuna 嘅王嘅国度。而 Nara Kasura 地球之子，当佢看到军队将领嘅下场嘅时候，愤怒不已。因此，他带着从牛奶之洋中诞生嘅大象，从城中出来。这些象，这些大象由于兴奋。Text 15. Lord Krishna and his wife, mounted upon Garuda, looked like looked like a cloud with lightning sitting above the sun. Seeing the Lord, Boma released his satagni satagni weapon at him. Whereupon all of Boma's soldiers simultaneously attacked with their weapons. The man sitting on the roof of the temple, Lord Krishna, and his wife, looked up and saw him as if he were sitting on the sun, with a bright lightning in his hands. Brahma saw the Lord, and he released his satagni weapon, and the soldiers of Brahma attacked with their weapons. At that moment, Lord Gadadgraj shot his sharp arrows at Bomasura's army. These arrows displaying variegated feathers soon reduced that army to a mass of bodies with severed arms, thighs, and necks. The Lord similarly killed the opposing horses and elephants. 你们就在那个时候，主家的 brother 向包包包妈 Asura 的军队射出去锋利嘅箭，这些箭随着色彩斑斓嘅箭，很快就将那支部队削减为一堆被斩断、落落大腿、脖颈嘅身体。主就让这就系像这样咁杀死咗对方嘅马匹同埋大象。Text 17 to 19. Lord Hari then struck down all the missiles and weapons the enemy soldiers threw at him. O hero of the Kurus, destroying each and every one with three sharp arrows. Meanwhile, Garuda, as he carried the Lord, struck the enemy's elephants with his wings. Beaten by Garuda's wings, beak. And talons, the elephants fled back into the city, leaving Narakasura alone in the battlefield to oppose Krishna. The man Sri Hari 接着击中了敌军，射向佢所有嘅子弹同埋武器。哦，骷髅嘅英雄，他用三支箭摧毁所有人。
佢寫作為主嘅作者，就係呢個用佢嘅翅膀、嘴腳、爪擊中敵方嘅大象，大象都逃回城中。那哈那卡斯普拉杜拉獨自在戰場上對抗 Christian。Number twenty. Seeing his army driven back and tormented by Garuda, Boma attacked him with his spear, which had once defeated Lord Indra's thunderbolt. But though struck by that mighty weapon, Garuda was not shaken. Indeed, he was like an elephant hit with a flower garland. 佢刺激，越文看到呢軍隊被咁大摧驅退折磨，寶馬用佢嘅曾經擊敗天爪劈雷嘅長矛攻向他，但是儘管受到這有力武器嘅攻擊，咁大卻紋絲不動。確實，他就像是大象受到花環嘅擊打。Took up his trident to kill Lord Krishna, but even before he could release it, the Lord cut off his head with his razor-sharp chakra as the demon sat atop his elephant. 夜晚，宝马所有嘅上司都失败之后，佢拿起呢个三叉戟要杀死主 Krishna， 但在他放出他的字之之前。主便用他邊緣鋒利嘅神臂砍下了坐在象背上的惡魔的頭。Purport. According to Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, as Bhoma raised his invincible trident, Satya Bhama, sitting on Garuda with the Lord, said to Krishna, "Kill him right away," and Krishna did just that. 要指呢句誒。Shri Vishwanatha Chakata Kuram Gong, Don Bama Gurini Hui Mouti Ke Sam Chai Ke Ke Si Hou, Tung Ju Jai Garuda Sang Ke Sata Buma Dui Krishna Gong Gong, Ma Sang Sa Si Ho, Ni Krishna Jai Jiu Bai. Om Jnana Timiran Dasya, Jnana Jnana Shalakaya, Chaksur Militan Yena, Tasmai Shri Gurave Nama, Shri Chaitanya Mano Vistam Sapitam Yena Bhutale Swayam Rupakadam Ayam Dadati Swapadam Dikam Pandiham Shri Karo Shri Yata Padakamalam Shri Karun Vaishnavam Scha Shri Rupam Sakrachatam Sahagana Raghunatan Vitam Tam Sajevam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parjana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakanitam Sya He Krishna Karana Sindhu Dhinna Bandhu Jagatpate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namastate Tapta Kanchana Gorangi Radhe Vrindavanishwari Udrishabhanu Sate Devi Pranamami Hari Priye Panchakaupata Rupyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhayevacha Patitanam Pavanevyo Vaishnavivyo Namo Namaha Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Atvaita Kedadha Shri Vasadhi Gaur Bhakta Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare So we heard in the previous chapter, how Lord Krishna accepted uh, five more princesses as his wives. And this way, Krishna had eight 
principal queen. But then news came to him about how the demon Boma, Boma had been arresting uh, the daughters of many kings. And he was keeping these young ladies prisoners. And so these young ladies were appealing to Lord Krishna to save them. And so we heard how descriptions, how Lord Krishna entered into the uh, palace of this, into the area where this great demon Boma was living. And it was described how he had many different means of trying to protect himself from being attacked by anyone. Particularly, there was this, well, he had different weapons of the wind and fire and water. So they were, he was using the different elements of the material nature in, in forms of weapons to, to, to create obstacles to protect him. But of course Krishna could overcome all of these obstacles. Because Krishna is the controller of the material nature. So Krishna can control the material energy as he likes. And then there was, this other, there was another demon who was there who was to protect Boma, and that demon was called Mura. And he was a very ferocious demon with five heads. And he tried to attack Krishna. But Krishna is, has the Sudarsan Chakra, and with the help of the Sudarsan Chakra, Krishna cut off his head. So the demon was not able to do any harm to Lord Krishna. So then we are hearing how. Uh, the, uh, oh, we heard about uh, the, this Boma attacking the, the Garuda. And it said that this Boma, he had a spear which he had been he once used, which had defeated Lord Indra's thunderbolt. Lord Indra's weapon is the Braja, the thunderbolt. Right, that thunderbolt was said was made from the bones of the Dichi Muni. Which Muni? The Dichi. Dadichi Muni. Dadichi. Don't you read the Srimad Bhagavatam? <laughs> it's in Srimad Bhagavatam how Indra got the bones of Dadichi. When Indra had to kill Pritasura, he needed a powerful weapon. So Lord Vishnu told him, as go and you get the bones from the Dichi's body. What does she say? You said yeah. You just see the, the bones of the body. Yeah. If you go to Naimisharanya, if you go to visit Naimisharanya, you can go and see the place where Dandichi gave up his body. 
去搭機前嗰個誒放棄身體嘅地方。Yeah, there's a small temple there, and you can tell the story about how the Tichi came up. And so Indra had this this weapon, which he killed Pritasura with. But this Boma, this demon Boma, who is the son of the air, he has a weapon also. He's the trident. 而呢個惡魔波馬咧，亦都係佢嘅地頭之子啊！佢嘅武器係一個三叉。And and it said that his his weapon of Boma had defeated Indra's weapon. 咁佢呢個 The weapon of Boma was more powerful than the weapon of Indra. 咁因為波馬嘅武器係比 Indra 嘅武器更加有力。But when Boma used this weapon against Garuda, it did not take effect. He tried to hit him with the weapon, but it was just like a flower garland hitting him. So in this way, uh, Boma is faced with great difficulty. But Lord Krishna is going to, he's going to, he just simply releases his Sudar Sun Chakra and cuts off the head. And in the purport, we are told. That Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur, he says that Lord Krishna's wife, Satyabhama, was there with Krishna. And Satyabhama told Krishna, kill him. Now, why would Satyabhama tell him to do that? Well, she she knew that you know he's a demon. He knew he was 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 a demon. He knew he because Lord Krishna had promised Bhumi that I will not kill your son unless you to give me permission. So Satyabhama, it, it, it said that Bhumi is an expansion of Satyabhama. So when Satyabhama said go ahead and kill him, it's like Bhumi giving permission. 所以當沙拉布馬叫 Krishna 殺嘅時候，一隻等同於誒布布米叫佢殺。So we see Krishna, he's he's how he's obliged to his devotees. 所以睇到 Krishna 對佢嘅奉獻者幾咁感激啊，佢逼住要做。Just like in the Bhagavad Gita, we hear how Arjuna says to Krishna, "Bring my chariot into the middle of the battlefield." 就好似喺國家辦歌咧，阿專能叫 Krishna， 你將個戰車咧駕駛到戰場中間。Now Krishna is the supreme controller, but he takes orders from Arjuna. 主係自尊人嘅守神，但係接受佢阿專能嘅訓示嘅命令。Now Krishna likes to reciprocate with his devotees. 因為主 Krishna 都要回報佢，回應佢嘅奉獻。So here also Satyabhama is telling Krishna, kill him. Kill him immediately. Krishna is the controller. But he takes instructions from his wife. Is Krishna henpecked? Is he a henpecked husband? Henpecked means he does whatever the wife tells him. If you don't do what the wife says, then you you 
your life will become miserable. <laughs> so of course Krishna is not a hand packed but, but he enjoys his relationship with his devotees. So he you know he given his promise to Bumi that I won't kill him unless you tell me. So Krishna has to, has, has to arrange so that he can you know, that this demon can be killed. That's why you bring it to the world. <laughs> so, with the blessings of Sancho Bama, he's able to kill. Of course, by Krishna killing this demon, it's a great benediction for Bama. Right? Because when they're killed by the Lord, then you'll get liberation. All the demons killed by Krishna, then they get they get liberation. And so it's actually this is a blessing for Boma. And so we we see uh, Krishna often arranges these kind of th things with his devotees. Where he's Krishna taking that instruction from the devotee. Krishna, it, it seems like he's obliged to do what his devotee tells him. Krishna is the, the supreme controller, but he's controlled by the pure devotion of his devotees. Krishna is Madan Mohan. He's the controller of Cupid. We are all controlled by Cupid. Cupid fires his arrows into the heart and bewilders us. But Krishna controls Cupid. But still Krishna is controlled by Radharani. Mm? Cupid is Mohan and Krishna is Madan Mohan. And Radharani is Madan Mohan Mohini. She attracts the control of the Cupid. Then she can attract Krishna. How can she attract Krishna? It's not just her nice hair or her nice dress or her beautiful smile. It's not just her sweet words and her good looks, but it's, her, it's the, the feeling of love from her heart, and the love which she has in her heart, which she has for, for Krishna. And so that love, of, that pure loving devotion, that conquers Krishna. Krishna is unconquerable. He is Ajita. Nobody can conquer him. But he is conquered by the pure love of his devotees. So we see how Krishna is uh, taking the the words of his wife, Satyabhama, with him, he's taking these words. We remember we were discussing previously why Satyabhama had come here with Krishna on this particular occasion. This demon Boma had taken the earrings from Mother Aditi. 
So Lord Krishna was going to take them back from the demon and give them back to And the demon had stolen many other things, like he stolen the umbrella from Varuna. And he'd taken the the uh, the mountain playground of the demigods. Mm, so he'd taken things which didn't were not for him, they were not for the demons, they were meant to be the property of the demigods. And Indra had gone to Krishna to complain about it. <coughs> because Indra himself didn't feel able to do anything about it. And we are told, some of you, we, we can understand why, that his weapon, his thunderbolt weapon, was not able to defeat the weapon of Boma. So although Indra is the king of heaven, this Boma was also very powerful. Just because he's the king of heaven doesn't mean he can defeat everyone. So these, some of these demons, they did great tapasya, they performed great penances to get these powers. So this Boma was a very powerful person. Remember, he's the son of Mother Bhumi, he's the son of the earth. But he's become demonic. So sometimes we see people that when they get power, they, do, they don't know how to use it properly. So this, the demon Boma had great powers, but he is using them all for his sense gratification. He was thinking the beautiful young princesses are just for his sense gratification. He's thinking every, every, all the opulence of the material world is just for him to enjoy. <coughs> so he, he had not understood that there's a Supreme Lord above everyone. And so he trying to defend himself against the Lord Krishna when Lord Krishna came. But Lord Krishna, for Lord Krishna, these obstacles are not any, they're not significant. We're always worried, oh, I have so many difficulties, I have so many obstacles in my path. Right, we have, oh, I have this problem, I have that problem. But if we just take shelter of Lord Krishna, then we can overcome all the obstacles. One devotee wrote to Prabhupada, Prabhupada, you don't understand, I have so many troubles, so many, so many problems. And Prabhupada wrote back to him, if you just come and take shelter, he said, with one kick of my boot, I can knock away all these obstacles. So Maya is under the control of Krishna. As soon as we take shelter of Lord Krishna, then all the Maya is removed. Just like when Dhruva Maharaj was fighting the Yakshas. The Yakshas had many mystic powers and they would create all kinds of illusions. 
And Dhruva Maharaj would have, he would see all of these different creations, all the different illusions which the but he would just but he would buy he would fix his mind on Krishna and all the illusion would be bad. Just like as soon as we take shelter of Krishna, there can be no more Maya. As soon as the sun comes up in the sky, then all the darkness of Maya is removed. Krishna Surya Sama Maya Haya Andika Yahan Krishna Tahannahi Mayaya Adika Krishna is like the sun and Maya is like darkness. Where there is a light of the sun can be no darkness. And where there is Krishna consciousness, it can be no Maya. Sometimes our movement, sometimes we will get many difficulties in our movement. From time to time, there will be great difficulties to be confronted. Prabhupada would tell the devotees, he said, now you must all be very careful to strictly follow the four principles and to chant at least 16 rounds. If we keep ourselves in Krishna consciousness, then Maya cannot touch us. Devi Esha Guna Mai Mama Maya Duratya Mameva Ye Prapadyante Mayami Tam Tarantite. This material nature is very difficult to overcome. Mama Maya, my Maya, it's Krishna's Maya, it's Krishna's energy, so it's very difficult to overcome. But if we surrender to Krishna, we can easily cross beyond. We, we just have to hold on to Krishna, take shelter of Krishna, and then all the Maya is removed. There's no difficulties when we're in Krishna consciousness. The difficulties come as soon as we forget Krishna. So the most important principle is always remember Krishna, never forget him. Smartavyam satatam vishnu vishmartavya na jato krit sarve vidhi ni seda shor eta yore vakinkara. All the most important regulated principle above all other regulated principles is to always remember Krishna and never forget him. So you have a quite funny, that is a very quite funny, that you don't need a new that you have when you get to Krishna. And so we're learning from these pastimes of Lord Krishna how he kills all these different demons. And how all of these wonderful ladies, the fortunate princesses, how they're all going to become the wives of Lord Krishna. They can shelter Krishna, so Krishna has come to deliver them. As we surrender to Krishna, Krishna rewards us accordingly. As we surrender to Krishna, Krishna rewards us accordingly. So if we know if we have no other shelter but Krishna, then Krishna will certainly come and deliver us. But if our surrender to Krishna is mixed with so many other thoughts and expectations, 
但是我們經常是對主又混雜了很多其他的期望。Then that is not full surrender. 這個不是完全的歸依。And so these ladies they simply they were simply fully devoted to surrender to Krishna. So we will hear now Krishna has killed the demon Boma. We are going to hear how he reciprocates with these ladies, the princesses. But now they're now he's the 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 demon is killed, so now he can free the ladies from the prison. But the question is what are they going to do now? Where are they going to go? Nobody wants them. <laughs> so we will hear how Lord Krishna adjusts the situation. Any questions? There is Dwarka in the spiritual world. Dwarka is in the spiritual world, yeah. Just like Vrindavan. Vrindavan is in the spiritual sky. And the holy dogs are embassies of the spiritual world. So they're never destroyed. So Rabbi Kunj, Navadvi, when everything else is devastating, that place remains. Everything else is devastating. The great flood, everything else is destroyed, bloody. So but these places they remain. It's their holy places. The, holy the eternal abode of the Lord. Earth is for expansion. Does earth not on its own have any positive effect on all the souls that come here? Does earth not what? How does earth have the positive effect of helping us all become? How to what? How does earth have a positive effect? Yeah, like parents to some extent, you know, when the children are young, they look after them, they guide them, they teach them. In this one, does earth have any positive effect on us becoming Krishna conscious? Translate. She doesn't understand your question. You can feel it. She's asking, does earth have any effect on us? On what? The, on people, when we take birth on the earth planet, how does it affect us? Well, yeah, she said, does earth belong, to belong to the God's creation? No, the earth Mataji is an expansion of the Sakyamama. So, being an expansion, the, its divine qualities are there. So, does it have any positive effect on us living beings who come down here to take birth on earth? Yeah. Well, the earth is one of the seven mothers. You know, we have seven mothers. 
So the mother has a positive effect. 當然母親係有正面嘅誒反應。Right, the mother raises the children. 母親係養育佢兒女兒孩子。Way, so the earth also gives us particular direction. 所以地球亦都係提供正確嘅方向。You can see earth in its natural way when we when we look at the earth and nature. You see, the earth's natural way is like this. Then we're reminded of God. Then we, when we look at nature, we're reminded of the the supreme Lord and His creation. When we look at the earth, we're reminded of the supreme Lord and His creation. So the mother helps us to have some appreciation for the Father. So the mother helps us to have some appreciation for the Father. So the mother helps us to have some appreciation for the So the earth is the best place in the whole universe to become God conscious. So, in fact, the earth is the best place in the whole universe to become God conscious. If we are in the higher planets, there is so much sense gratification. Because in the higher planets, there is so much sense gratification. We wouldn't want to become God conscious. 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 And if we were in the hellish planets, the lower planets were suffering so much. But this earth planet is the best place. So the earth is the best place. So this is the mercy of the mother earth. So it is very good. From this place, we can become God conscious. But in this place, we can become God conscious. From here, we can go directly back to God. From other places, very difficult. Other places, it's very difficult. Thank you, Mara, for encouraging me. Thank you, Mara, for giving us the confidence to surrender fully and remember Krishna. Thank you, Krishna. Okay, Shri Mat Bhagavatam Ki Jai, Shri Mat Bhagavatam Ki Jai, Shri Mat Bhagavatam Ki Jai. Thank you. We present our Krishna concert.